So I figured since I was in it and I finally kind of like got it patched up and working, I would kind of like go through and go over kind of like what I've got for DWL so far. There are some other things I want to do with it and some things that like in my testing with what I've currently got that I think need a little bit of work. But first off, oh, I have a number of patches that I've applied to it. And so one of those is like the smart gaps and gaps in general, because I kind of like to have gaps for some reason. And so we've got the gap set up and um, sloppy focus turned on, of course. I did want to have monocle gaps on. So that's on by, it's off by default, but I turned it on. I haven't really messed with the border color. Um, but yeah, then I also have the auto start patch, which basically allows you to define different commands to run it, um, startup. So I've got my pipe wire stuff going and then way bar as well, which I have also patched, oh, DWL with the IPC, an IPC patch so that I can switch tags around here. So the reason why DWL, I like it a little bit better than, say, River, is because of the way that it handles layouts. And, I mean, I guess I could figure out River's O protocol to write a layout so that I can have per tag layouts. But DWL handles it a little bit better. And so you've kind of got that here is the per tag layout thing going on right here, which is what this tag count definition is for. Um, and then pointer constraints. So this is the one that I was kind of like noticing I had issues with. So if I were to go and open something like OpenMW and try and play Morrowind or Starwind, I could right click to open the inventory, but the mouse wouldn't move. I could also... So if I go like this. So I can move the mouse just fine here. I can load up, go here, and then I can move it around just fine. I can move it around just fine. But the minute I right click and go, I can't move the mouse at all, even though I'm like trying with all my might. So I think I'm not sure what's up, if it's something to do with DWL or what, but I'm pretty sure it's something weird with the way Pointer Constraints is working. So, and the Pointer Constraints that I installed is a little bit older, and I found, oh, the Sway Pointer, pointer Constraints, which is by Sevs. And I think that one would be a bit better, but that means I have to strip down everything that I've done and then basically update with the latest source changes and then reapply the patches that I want, which I know what I where to fix things up so it wouldn't be that hard, but yeah. So I may switch out the constraints, but I just have to roll back my Git history because I'm also keeping track of that stuff on have a GitHub repo with it all set up. So, so this is where I've got my fork of it that I'm basically applying some of the um, configs to. So I will, that'll be like right here. And some of it is obviously like somewhat weird, but once I get, I'll bring the commits back up, sync it all up, and then go from there. But, so, I've also got the list of patches that I have downloaded for this in there too. And I may end up, oh, what is it? I'm probably going to file down so it's just the patches that I've applied so that it's easy to tell. But anyway. Then here are the rules. I haven't really done anything with it as of yet, but I do have some things that I have to configure for the rules, like emulators and whatnot, I think, but that's for a later time. Then here are the layouts. I did 
install the deck layout, which allows basically stacking the windows like almost like a deck of cards. So, and then the monocle one, of course. So, yeah. Next is the monitor rules. I don't have anything really special at all for it. I could set something up if I wanted to, but I haven't really worried about it because it works fine the way it is with my multiple monitors as it is. Then the keyboard rules and stuff, which I haven't worried too much about because that's managed by the keyboard itself. Anything that is special that way. Let's see, repeat delays, tap to click, tap and drag. So this is like trackpad stuff, natural scrolling, drag lock, things like that. Then you've got the lib input and different things that way. I haven't really changed too much from the default, but it does tell you what each one what the options are for each value so you can tweak it as you want. And then these definitions were actually added by another patch. And that was the key chord patch, basically. And what the key chord patch does is let me do like multiple key combinations to open up different programs. So I've got some definitions for like browser keys, and then file manager keys, and then like a run thing that I stole from Sev's config. Then I've defined term command to be foot. And then I've also commented out, oh, the menu CMD and replaced it with a basic string so that I could use it in here and make it so that I can change it up here if I really need to. But yeah, you've got our volume raise and lower. So I could raise and lower the volume. And I've basically defined all the keys that I need to. Kind of as you can tell the way, oh, key chords work is you define how many keystrokes are basically in a key chord going up to a maximum of five. And then you define each one inside of curly brackets. So like mod g and then oh whatever key i put in so like mod g d would open up fire dragon mod b c would open up chromium and so on we've kind of got the same deal going on down here except i have to work out some conflicts that seem to be working its way into it for some reason but yeah, here's the rest of our stuff. We've got the increase, decrease gaps. I haven't really tweaked around with the too many of the default keys as of yet. And there are still some other things that I need to work with to get it that I want to do that I figured out. So I haven't set up my power menu yet. So if I hit oh, super shift E, it will basically quit DWL rather than give me the option to give me the power menu like I have set up normally. Other than that, yeah, this is basically everything. Then there's the cycle layouts, oh, patch that I've set up as well. So, like I said, about the only one I think I'm really gonna have to worry about is the, oh, constraints one and switch that out. Other than that, most everything else I'm pretty happy with on DWL, so. Yeah, there, the repo's there. I do have, if we look at the config.def.h, I do have, or is it down here? I have the definitions for the browser keys and file manager keys here. I may change the location of those definitions to elsewhere, but yeah. Basically, they should work for the most part, and yeah. Some things it's still pretty default other than that. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description, Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.